Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a cool unboxing here for you. This is Candyman. Candy Man. Uh, collector's Edition from Screen Factory slash Shelf Factory. Um, today is uh, the 20th. I think it's the, the 19th? No, it's the 18th. Um, Sunday, the 18th. This, I actually received this yesterday, but I'm making the video now. Um, uh, the street date for this is Tuesday, November 20th. Um, I never expected to get it the two weeks early because of all the delays they've been having, but I'm glad to finally get it, um, and I'm glad to get the posters. I haven't even looked at this yet. This has just been sitting on my desk, so, in fact, I'm going to do that first because that's been the most disappointing part of all of these. They've always been... Ooh, actually. I don't know if I can show you here. Can you see? Can you see there? Look at that. That's actually... There are no dents at all. No dings. That is the best it has looked in my entire history of buying from them. So, they fucking listened. <laughs> it took them weeks and weeks and months of people complaining about poor... Well, let me get this out first, I suppose, too. But it looks like this is actually finally okay. Let's see here. Well, that's right, it's two posters. Um... And the first one, let's get that away first. Um, I can use, I can use this here. Do that. Let's do that. How those edges look? Well, those are a little crump, but that's okay. That's not as big a deal. But the edges themselves, it's a little bit on the side here, but this is still miles better than the last four or five I've received. Especially in the last month. There's a cool poster, by the way. And then the other one, hold on. The alternate poster, which... Not a huge fan of this one. I think I like that one better. This is still kind of cool. Kind of creepy. Candyman. So I've got two of these. I don't need I don't need one of them. But, um, I actually have not seen this film. I mean, I've seen bits of it over the years, but I've never really seen it. Sat down and watched it. So I'm, I was looking forward to this one when they announced it. I actually almost bought the Arrow video one. But, well, I guess in retrospect, I kind of wish I had. I still can, I suppose. But uh, I've been really into the... The Screen Factory ones, giving them my business because I thought they deserved my business, and now I'm kind of rethinking that thought process. Hold on, I'm just taking longer than I thought. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but the posters surprisingly look good, which I guess, you know, that's a plus. But as I was saying, I have not seen this film. And here's the slipcover, too, of the alternate, which is kind of cool. There's no dents on this. This looks fine. That's creepy as shit. This is from 1990, I think. 92, sorry. Here is the slip cover, and it says include oh not uh, includes two the two disc set includes a new high definition 4K scan of the film, interviews with Tony Todd and Virginia Madsen, director commentary, a look at the special effects, and much more. And let's take this off so it's not so glary. But I am excited for this. Like I was saying, I have never actually sat down and watched this, and when they announced it, I was really excited for it because I had actually this last year looked at trying to find a a Blu-ray or DVD, because I think it was released on DVD just this year. Well, I'm thinking of something else. Fear of the Flesh was released this year, I think. And I considered buying it. Oh, this is actually... I always forget that it's double sealed now. That's smart. I don't like these cheapo cases, though. These are the new cases they're using now. I don't like them so much. They feel kind of boxy. I don't like it, but whatever. I can replace that if I want to. There's the new artwork on the Unready Cut, and then the, uh, the uh, theatrical poster on the theatrical cut, rated R. For violence and gore. 99 minutes on the um, ah, shit, theatrical cut. I'm assuming 
around the same. Yeah, 99 minutes on the M82, so it's just extra bits and bobs there. Let's actually turn this around. Say his name five times. I remember the game of saying his name in the in the, in the mirror, um, but like I said, I never partook in any of that. That's the same. What's different image actually? Let's take a look at this. Is the same, right? Yeah. Let's look at the, well. Here's the synopsis, I guess. Maybe I'll read it because I actually do not know as much about this. This gut wrenching thriller follows a graduate student whose research summons the spirit of the dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. When Helen Lyle hears about Candyman, a slave spirit with a hook hand who is said to haunt a notorious housing project, she thinks she has a new twist for her thesis. Braving the gang-ridden territory to visit this site, Helen arrogantly assumes Candyman can't really exist. Of course not, right? Until he appears, igniting a string of terrifying, grisly slayings. But the police don't believe in monsters and charge Helen with the crimes. And the only one who can set her free is Candyman. This actually sounds awesome. Uh, disc one is a theatrical cut. Disc two with the unrated. It says uh, new two K. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry, I was I was looking at this and it said two K restoration, and I could have swore it just said four K. But then obviously I should just keep reading my new four K scan of original no negative. Um, supervised and approved by writer director Bernard Rose and director of photography Anthony B. Richmond. New audio commentary with Tony Todd too. Tony Todd is a legend. I I, I always knew he was from this, but I, I everything he's done I've always kinda liked. He's very creepy in everything he is. Um how many sequels are there to this? Is there another Sphere Ball to the Flesh, which is pretty much universally disliked? I've never seen that either. Um and there's a third one, I think. I don't know, but uh, I'll have to check now. A new audio commentary with authors Stephen Jones and Kim Newman. Audio commentary with Bernard Rose. So that's the tip, older one. Sweet to the, sweets to the Sweet, the Candyman Mythos. Clive Barker, Raising Hell. Clive Barker is fucking everywhere in the 90s. Bernard Rose of Starboards, Theatrical Trailer 2's Bots, and Soul Gallery. And then on just the Unready Cut, same thing, 2K restoration from a 4K scan. Be My Victim, interview with Tony Todd. That's awesome. It was Always You, Helen, interview with Virginia Madsen. The Writing on the Wall. Production design of Candyman, Man, interview with production designer Jane Ann Stewart. New Forbidden Flesh, the makeup effects of Candyman. Including interviews with special effects artist Bob Keane, Gary J. Tunnicliffe, and Mark Collier. Uh, a new story to tell. Baker's, uh, excuse me, Clyde Barker's Forbidden. Seminal books of blood of Candyman, Man, source for the story of the Forbidden. A new urban. Damn, there's a lot of new features in the second disc. Unwrapping Candyman, and more. Damn. It's so cool. Yeah. Neato. What do I think of this? I've only ever gotten the thing as a uh, second slip cover. And um, I'm a huge fan of the thing, and I always collect them. But I ended up selling them online because I it was kind of in the way. I, don't, I had limited space, or I did have limited space for setting these up. And I just thought I was taking up space for something like this. I don't like that it doesn't have information on in the back, but you know, it's an extra one. Hmm. I think I like this one better, personally. Yeah. Okay, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Do that maybe. Maybe that'll stick. Candy man, candy man, candy man, candy man. Oh my god, I almost said it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I was waiting for this one. I'm glad it I got it a little bit early at least. And uh, I'm planning on watching this um, very soon. Maybe tonight even. Hmm. Well no, I got it at the end to watch, but uh, I'll be watching it soon. Most certainly over the break here coming up this week. And uh, I have actually not been able to watch any movies since the 31 Days of Horror stopped. Oh my god, is that true? Yeah, oh my god. I've been playing Red Dead Redemption like a boss. It's been crazy. Um, and my free time is all it's always spent on that. So anyway, blah, 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 who cares? Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you around. More stuff coming up. 
it's Black Friday week, so uh, make your list and stuff. If you're an Elite Plus or Elite member, um, Best Buy's, um, well, some of Best Buy's deals are live now. Um, check that out. I know they're all, a lot of them are doing either early access. Check that shit out. Just check online. Check on Blu-ray.com for all the good stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching, and bye.